Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I recorded this like berry kind of smoky eye and I put sh like pink shimmer on the lid. I'm not really sure what to call these looks because I did one in one of my previous videos, but I did it in green. So, I mean, I'm not really sure what you want to call this look, but I, I don't just know it's like berry colors. And by all means, you guys do not have to use like the berry colors. You guys can use any other colors. There are so many palettes out there, as I said in my other video that you guys can use to recreate this look and it's gonna come out perfect. Um, but yeah, if you wanna see how I achieve this look, then please keep on watching. So to start off this look, I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. And from that palette, I'm gonna go in with Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange. And I'm gonna mix those two shades together. And I'm gonna take it on my Holy Grail Morphe E23 brush. And this color is going to pretty much go all over the crease. Nothing too hard or difficult to do. And then I'm going to keep going back and forth with that color and just applying and blending. Then I'm going to take Love Letter from the same palette. And the brush that I used to apply that was the Morphe M433. And that shade is kind of going to go into my crease. And then I'm going to begin by kind of applying it on the outer corner of my eye and then I'm going to begin to flick it out and with this color I'm kind of applying it to my crease and then I'm slightly bringing it up just a little bit so that way when my eyes are open you can still see that pink shade and then again the same thing with this color I just went back and forth and applied color just to get the intensity that I wanted as you can see, see here it got a little like pink and a little I put just more color to it Then from the Lorac Pro Palette number 2, I'm going to take the shade of Plum, which is this kind of like purple color. And I'm going to take that on my Morphe M519 brush, which is a small pointed brush. It's not small, but it's kind of like long. And I'm going to take this first on the outer corner of my eye and apply it there and flick it out. And then the same thing, I'm going to apply it to my crease. Um, I'm going to do it little by little and then start building up that color intensity. And then going back in with the Morphe M443 just to blend those two out. Then taking my Tarte Shape and Tape Concealer in Light Medium. And I took any flat synthetic brush and I started to kind of carve out my crease. But I didn't do like a full cut crease. I kind of feathered it out towards the end as you guys have seen in my other videos. I think it was my green my green half cut crease video tutorial I believe it was that I did this um type of eyeshadow so that's pretty much all I did was just cut the crease and feather it out towards the end of my eye and then I took the MAC Fix Plus just um, so when I go in with my pigment it gives it more more shimmer to it and I took Rose and Mocha from the Lorac Pro 2 palette and I apply that with any synthetic um, brush but before I did that I went in with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue um, just to secure the adhesion and then first I applied the rose color and that one was like a little that was more pink than the mocha color as you can see here first I applied the shadow insurance and then now I'm going in with that shimmer shade and you can see how it just gives it a nice pink metallic look to it then I went back in with the Morphe M519 brush and I just blended out those edges so it kind of feathers and blends in all together and it's not such a harsh line. Then I took this mini smudger by Crown Brush and I'm taking the color Plum from the Lorac palette and I'm going to apply this shade to my bottom lash line again keeping it as close to my lower lash line as I can. Then I'm taking my Morphe M149 brush and I'm taking Love Letter and pretty much the same thing um, except I'm just going to take this color a little lower than I applied that plum shade again just to smoke it out as you guys have seen in my other videos and that was pretty much all I did for the eyes apply some liner just to kind of make it more dramatic and you can never go wrong with liner so I'm taking my NYC liquid liner and pretty much the same way I've been doing it in my videos Um, 
I'm gonna apply these are new, so I actually have the box. They're the Ardell Glamour Lashes, numbers 113. Look like this. And I'm most likely gonna have to cut them because I have really small eyes. And then after I'm gonna I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna go over my eyeliner in my inner corner here just to kind of fill it in because I put the eyelash and it kind of kind of like split the eyeliner so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do now. And now for lips I'm gonna take this NYX butter gloss in Madeline. It looks like this. I don't wanna do anything too like bold or anything with their with the lips. I wanna kinda keep it neutral just because I want the main focus to be on the eyes since the eyes are dramatic already so these smell so good and that's pretty much puts all this look together and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you guys can see how everything looks creating it um usually i stick as i say in my other videos i usually stick with my neutrals and my like natural colors but i just really like how like the pink and the purple and the like the pink shimmer on the lids and how it all kind of came together and i love how how smoky and how like dramatic it looks and of course you guys can do this look with any color it doesn't have to be specifically the colors that i use you guys can do it with browns you guys can do it with oranges by all means you guys do not have to use this exact color combination that I used and I think using any other color is going to look great as well. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave me any comments down in the comment bar or any suggestions that you guys want to see for my future videos. And yeah, and I'll see you in my next tutorial.